Imagine a service for a private group chat and photo sharing with more than 700 million people using it every month, and they're putting up 2.5 million posts and links and comments and photos every month too. You'd think that would be a pretty popular app, but there's no app for that yet. But Facebook is trying to fix that. That service is groups, and until now, it's been buried a few levels deep inside Facebook's apps. Seriously, this is how you get to it. You open the app, then you tap over here to more, then you scroll down to find your groups, then you tap on a group. So this is a groups app. You've got a bunch of little Facebook groups, each with their own bubble. You can reorder them, you can search for groups, and you can make new groups. When you tap into a group, it looks and acts just like the Facebook news feed. But unlike the newsfeed, the rules of the group make it really easy to know who can see your stuff. It's either public, closed, or secret. Closed groups can be searched and found and you can see who's in them, but you need an invite to actually see what's inside them. Secret groups are just plain secret. Whenever you make a new post, there's a big indicator telling you who can see it. Just like with Facebook, you can put up photos and comments, tag your friends, and scroll through it just like the main newsfeed. There's practically nothing new here at all. It's all just stuff you've done before in the app. Just better. There are a few gestures to help you get around, some subtle sound effects, and in general, it's just faster than the main Facebook app. For example, it's easier to see who's in a group and mess around with notification settings and permissions and all the other stuff you might want to change within a group. Heck, you can even add an individual group directly to your home screen. It wouldn't be a standalone app without a bunch of tabs, and so here they are. There's a tab that collates all your notifications, a tab for discovering new groups, and a tab for settings. Facebook isn't getting rid of the groups in the main app, unlike what it did with Messenger. That's probably a relief for those 700 million users. But for people who use groups a ton, the new app might be better. It gives you a chance to better manage all your notifications so you don't miss out on anything from your most important groups, but you can skip past the other stuff. Facebook is hoping you're gonna use it with your family, your groups of friends, and maybe even with your significant other. And if they're right, a few years from now, that 700 million might be over a billion. That's a lot of pictures of breakfast.